This screencast covers the material in Module 4, Lesson 1, where we make line plots. We're going to show you how to create a line plot. First thing we need to do is consider the values of the numbers. The numbers are, range from 1 8th to 1 1 4th, so our line plot needs to include all those values. So we're going to make some marks underneath, so I'm going to make a fairly long one because that's a whole number value. So that's 0. And the next one is going to be 1 eighth. 2 eighths is the same as 1 fourth. Make that a little bit longer. We don't have to get into this precision. The next is going to be 3 eighths. The next one is going to be 1 half. After that, we have 5 eighths. And then we have 6 eighths, which is 3 fourths. And we have 7 eighths. And the next one is 8 eighths, which is one hole. We'll make that one a little bit longer. One hole. And then there's another one here, one and one eighth. And then we're going to go to somewhat longer and one and one fourth. We could go further. Uh, we don't need to, though. As long as we have all the values from one eighth to uh, one and one eighth, one and one fourth, rather. Now we're going to plot our values. We do that by creating an X above the line plot, above the value. So, for example, we have an x, we have 3 eighths, so we put 1 x above the 3 eighths. We have 1 eighth, I put 1 x above the 1 eighth. I have 1 fourth, I put an x above the 1 fourth. I have another 1 fourth, so I put a second x there. I have 3 fourths, I put an x there. I have 1 and 1 fourth, 1 x. I have 3 eighths, once again. And I have my 1, and then I have my 3 eighths. Now we can look at this line plot and answer some questions about frequency. We can easily tell by looking at the line plot that the number with the greatest frequency, the greatest number of data points, is 3 eighths. We could also look at this easily to tell which value is the least and which is the greatest. Our least value is 1 eighth, and our greatest value is 1 and 1 fourth. If we were asked for the least frequent, well, that would be a four-way tie between 1 eighth, 3 fourths, 1, and 1 and 1 fourth. So again, this is an easy way to see our frequency and to look at our range of data, finding the least and greatest. Now, one other thing they're going to ask you to do is find the sum of all these numbers. Well, what we want to do is work with like units first. So we, we would start with the 3 eighths, the 1 eighth, the 3 eighths, and the 3 eighths. We'd find the sum of those. And then we'd work with the uh, uh, other value here. Uh, the other denominator is fourths, so we would work with these guys first. Find the sum of the eighths, find the sum of the fourths, and of course we have the one whole here. And find once we have the sum of the eighths and the fourths, we can find uh, we can add those together, then simply add the whole, which is one.